Can you see me? I can. I can't see a video. I see. How about there now? you go. Yeah. Yeah. There oh, you are. I look like I'm on fire. Everything's orange. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? I don't know. Not, there's nothing in here that's orange, but there it is. There it is. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How it's are so you? Lovely to meet you. Likewise. I know. Did I tell you that you were my very first business purchase ever? No kidding. Yes. Uh, it was like. 2003, 2004, I didn't even have a business. I was just finishing my PhD, uh -huh. and I somehow found my way to you, and I bought, I can't remember, what was it called? The Accidental Entrepreneur yep. or something like that? Yeah. I bought that. I remember listening to it with a friend. I had no idea what I was listening for, but so you've just really always stuck in my, you know, my mind and my heart as just, you know, a special, something Great. special, someone special. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So, what what would you like to look at today? I realized I wasn't um, I wasn't really clear what we were going to talk about. <laughs> well, you know, you had you had posted that you were. God, I look awful. I don't really look this orange. This is very weird. Let me try this. Well, that didn't really help. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> um, you had posted that you were going to do something about vision. Vision blog, vision mastermind, and yeah, I'm I've just been reflecting on vision. It occurred to me some weeks ago that I might put together a mastermind group around the theme of vision. Huh? Uh, and I thought I'd write some blog posts about it huh? to help me think about it and just put the yeah. word out. So it's really not any more evolved than that. Yeah, that's great. Well, and I think I responded. I just I. Kind of talked quite a bit and I mentioned how for me I well I mean do you want me to just sort of riff on what I sure like my take on vision and see what it opens up um, one of the things I see is that there's often the sense of vision as being I don't know I hear language like you have to get like a crystal clear sense of vision and then you can, once you've got that then you can sort of, I don't know, like off you go and you get all these goals and that take you to your vision and everything has to be crystal clear and I find that it does a few things. One, it is um, intimidating to, for people who don't have a crystal clear vision mm -hmm. and I think also it can have you sort of slap on blinders and so that you're not seeing or it's, you're not available Exactly. Mystery, exactly. You know? Yeah. And so I, from that, I started developing this idea of being in relationship to vision. And, you know, some of it comes from, I have a, you know, years of doing shamanic training and have really come to see the world as alive mm -hmm. um, in all its expressions and that we have a relationship with all that there is and in my own business I've developed this concept of being in partnership with the soul of your business mm -hmm. so recognizing that it has its own vitality and wisdom and I think vision is something you can actually be in relationship with and the image that I get because um, I, I, I think in metaphor a lot mm -hmm. and so I have a, this sense of like vision as as existing almost like at the horizon mm -hmm. and from where you are you can see what you can see at the horizon so um, let's just say like at the horizon you saw something that looked like a hill and you thought I'm gonna go there and so you have a vision of where you're gonna go and you re as you respond to that and move towards it more of it comes into your awareness and you discover oh it's actually a mountain range and it's got forests and valleys and contours that you couldn't see before so more of it reveals itself to you through being in relationship and responding to what was revealed mm -hmm. like, and so what was beyond the horizon now comes this side of the horizon um, and maybe you discover it's actually a very long mountain range that goes way off beyond the horizon and so 
with that as an image, the way I've come to see it is what's this side of the horizon is is almost like the small vision. It's mm-hmm. the it's what I can access, and I can feel what's on the other side of the horizon, just like you can feel the sun mm-hmm. before it rises. Mm-hmm. And then there's like this vast part of it that's just inaccessible at this point, and I can trust it's there, exactly. and I can have relationship with it. Um, and I, to me, that's the big B vision. It's, mm-hmm. it's like this energy that is vision. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's that's kind of how I've come to appreciate it. And I found that it's very freeing to a lot of people, particularly creative folks, um, especially women who like the more relational and unfolding quality of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I would have to agree. There's a way in which if we... Well, I have two concerns about vision as it's conventionally talked about, and, and you actually pointed to both of them. Um, in your post and wisdompreneurs. And one is the idea of a hyper-focused vision and that you can't take action until you have a vision. Um, That does a couple of things. It puts pressure on you to know something you don't know, which is a perfect way to close down your access to a greater intelligence. Exactly. And then it also suggests that once you know it, you can put walls around it, that it's a good thing to contain it, which I think is the opposite of what's true. Right. The other thing you pointed at is, I think it was you, that there's a way in which vision has become very personal. And somebody else, I think it might have been Tad Hargrave, pointed to it. started it, it, yeah. You know, it becomes narcissistic. I have a vision. Yeah. And, you know, get out of my way with my vision. And uh, it can also be something people hold as a wound. Yeah. I can't move forward unless my vision is honored. And yeah. I just think, <laughs> I think that's really unhealthy, yeah. really unhealthy. So, yeah, yeah I think yeah. we agree on a lot of points. Well, and I, do, I think, you know, we, we live in a culture that is very individualistically oriented, and so we want to own things. Mm-hmm. So we get an idea, and it's like, it's my vision. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's that aspect of, of you know, uh, personal personalizing a vision. There's also, um, there's another way that it expresses itself very differently, and that is, um, I remember when I first... Not, not in your program, but I remember some of the in, um, more um, not home study programs that I got into, and they would start by saying, okay, so what's your vision? And I remember it, the first time I was so excited. I was like, oh, vision. You know, like, I've got a big vision. And then people started telling, saying, sharing their vision, like, I have a vision of making $500,000 and having, you know, like, only to work 20 hours and having a really big home and and I thought wow that's like that's that is I just didn't it didn't occur to me that that was vision and I can see that there's you can that's important to have a personal vision a vision for yourself and your life and that's different than a vision for the change you want to see in the world Mm mm-hmm and I think those two get conflated by using just one word, and that can mean very different things. Right. Well, and someone else in the thread mentioned the difference between vision and visualization. Oh, you I think know? I missed that. It was, I think more. It, I think it was toward the end of the thread, and um, I think it was a a, a man said that that vision is. I'm not going to remember his language, but Mm -hmm. vision is more something you tune in or perceive, Mm -hmm. have a relationship with, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, In my language, it would be something you get from a a greater intelligence, a a higher spirit or whatever. And visualization is a technique. Yeah. And you can use visualization to manage your thinking and to set goals. Mm -hmm. But even there, I think it's important to be careful that you don't use visualization to shut out what's actually available to you. Yes. 
Yeah, and that I think is a really important point because what you said earlier about, you know, you get this vision, you sort of slap on blinders and um, you think you know what it is. Mm -hmm. And when you think you know, it's based on old data. It's based on Always. what you already know, which mm -hmm. is just going to create more of the same. It's not really a vision. A vis being visionary is seeing a new possibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, cool. Interesting. Yeah. Very cool. So I'm curious in your mastermind, like, what does it mean to have a mastermind that's a visionary mastermind? You know, I don't know. It, um, it was just something that occurred to me. Uh -huh. And so I'm just hanging out available to that to see if it's an inspiration that wants to go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah. You're being visionary with your vision. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not... Um, some, some things I had a sense about is that... I run into a lot of people who think they need a vision. Mm -hmm. And thinking they need a vision is in, in the way of them seeing what's right in front of them, seeing whatever's theirs to do next, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or even perceiving something on a more distant horizon. Mm -hmm. It's like the harder we try to see, the less right. clearly we see. Yeah. So it's possible that this would be almost a, a paradoxical vision group. It's like, let's drop having a vision and see what shows up. Right. You yeah. know, I don't, well, I don't know. There, now, there's another piece that um, I don't know if you've you know, been sort of pondering on this, but there's the vision. How can I say this? It's not the, the personal vision, but there's a vision that can come through a person, and then there's something different that happens in a group. Mm -hmm. And then there's something different even still when you look at collective vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Wow. Something danced through my mind a minute ago. Mm. Oh, I know what it was. Um, Robert Mil Middleton and I talked, I guess it was yesterday, uh -huh. and in the same thread, he said something to the effect that vision is something we are. Yes, we are visionary. You know, it's, it's something you already have, so you don't have to accomplish your vision. You don't have to develop your vision or manifest your vision. You embody it uh -huh. to a greater or lesser extent at different uh -huh. times. And it reminded me of something I said about um, niche in the way of the accidental entrepreneur. And my friend Sean D'Souza drew a little cartoon of somebody going like this. It's like <laughs> you're sitting on your niche. You're so close to it, you can't see it. You know, yeah. your, your niche is kind of what you can't help but be and do yeah. in the world. Yeah. And I think vision, if we relax and don't try too hard, is what we can't help but be and do in the world. Right. So. Right. Yeah, that's an interesting take on it. <coughs> There's a way then that we end up holding vision as being this like superpower. Right. And so then we want to like strive for it or grasp for it. Mm -hmm. And then is, is my vision good enough? And you mm -hmm. know, all that crap that we get into. Right. Right. It becomes a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. And we either cave to the pressure or become inflated by it. Right. Uh, so yeah, it's it's curious. The more I reflect on vision, um, it's like what would a vision mastermind be with my understanding of vision? It's kind of like um, I guess I'm imagining it as being a a container or a community in which people could uh, well what's coming to me in this moment is relax mm -hmm. around vision 
relax yeah. around vision. Mm -hmm. And in that settled down place around vision, and in dropping their preconceptions and their anxieties about it and the pressure to have it, discover what's already there. Mm -hmm. And um, kind of like what you're saying about having a relationship. You know, yeah. and a relationship with the potential, uh -huh. and to trust in that potential. Yeah, that there's a way in which we're all already fully supported. This was also in Robert's post. It's all it's all perfect. Yeah, you know, it truly is. And if we can relax the pressure to be part of that we can discover how we already are part of that. Right. And then begin to move from that place. Yeah. And I think that's when the synchronicities show up and that's when the inspiration. In fact, in this moment, I'm thinking maybe some of what we call vision is inspiration. Mm. Yeah. And what we're really wanting is to be inspired and inspiration comes when we open, when we relax, not when we strive. Right. Well, they're definitely both um, air. They have quality of air to them, vision mm -hmm. and inspiration. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I could see, um, well, I could certainly imagine if you do a, a mastermind on vision that it will um, develop your own thinking and understanding of it, of sure. the concept. Um, but I could also see, I mean, one of the things I love to do in my work is help people develop their work. Mm -hmm. um, and that's different from growing a business, which I can also help them with. But the actual developing the, the, the shape of their work, mm -hmm. and it, it starts with vision, even if it's just a seed of a vision. And so I could imagine a mastermind um, being a place to, um, and I'm saying this offering this to you, but I'm saying it to myself too, because I'm, I'm starting to like this idea, um, a place where you can be supported to look at what are the different seeds of vision that y you are able to access. Mm -hmm. And not all seeds are meant to germinate. Right. And you don't have the, the, the bandwidth or the life force to tend to them all. So um, coming into relationship to them, listening to them for which ones or which one wants to actually, you know, blossom. Mm -hmm. And then um, through that masterminding process, supporting the revealing of more and more of the vision so that it starts to develop legs and walk out into the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like that. I might do that too. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> There's room for two I mean, say, masterminds in the world. <laughs> yeah, it's a big world. It's a very big world. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. Oh, wow, good. You know, Robert and I decided to um, put our um, in our conversation into the Wisdompreneurs thread. I think he's going to post huh? the link today. Nice. And I'm just wondering if you'd like to do that with this one. Sure, how do we do that? Um, I will get this, um, I'm recording it. Uh -huh. um, and I'll get it processed into a smaller format and uh -huh. upload it to YouTube. Oh, great. And I'll send you the link, and uh -huh. I'll post it in Wisdompreneurs as well. And then oh, you can and use it. Oh, look orange to the whole world. Oh, dear. I don't usually look this way, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very warm look. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I was on a, a Google Hangout earlier this morning, and I thought I looked awfully white, so. <laughs> oh, well, you're up in the land of clouds, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, right, right. Yeah. No. Well, well, we're among friends like there. I, we're among friends and wisdompreneurs. I don't think they'll hold our coloring no, against no. us. <laughs> but I just think that um, that it would be nice to have an adjunct to that that yeah. thread seemed to get a lot of people thinking, so. Did, yeah. Lovely idea. Great. Okay. Go for it. Good. Well, it's wonderful to get to know you a little more, Susanna. I remember I remember when your name was Suzanne. You know? Yeah, Susan. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Susan. And uh, um, for some reason, were you also in a class? Or maybe I just remember your name from when you bought the, the book. Yeah, but, I think I was just in... I don't know. 
it's so far ago. I can't yes, but your your name for whatever reason stuck with me. So yeah. I've I've always had a yes a feel or a sense for who you are, and it's nice to finally yeah. make visual contact. And Same here. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, I look forward to our paths crossing in wisdompreneurs and wherever else they do. Exactly. Maybe yeah. in a year or two we can compare uh, vision mastermind notes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, Susanna. Okay. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye.